Hello everybody and welcome back to New Egg TV. I'm Steven. Today I'm joined in the studio by none other than Leon from Gigabyte. Leon, what's going on, man? Nothing much. Yeah, you're what's... just hanging out. New yeah. Egg, this is how we do it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna do a product overview with you guys today. Uh, today's product is the Gigabyte GA Z97X UD3H. Uh, so actually I should ask you, where do you want to start first on this motherboard? Well, definitely let's start out with the appearance because I know a lot of people have been looking at our previous generation motherboards and have seen some differences, especially in our heat sinks. Mm -hmm. So definitely this time around with our 9 series, you can see that we've changed the heat sink up a little bit. Uh, we've added some more flair to it and the color is gold. The color is gold, it's a very yellow gold. Yeah, it's a very good, it's, it's, it's a very good, a uh, rich, it's a rich, uh, rich gold. earthy gold. So, <laughs> earthy, I like that. Right, so that's definitely the case. Uh, we, okay. Gold is in this year, so that's one thing. And we've also been putting a lot of gold in our motherboard. Oh, now, we put point. 15 microns of gold in that CPU socket, in the RAM slots, as well as in the PCIe slots. That way you have better connect connectivity, mm -hmm. as well as um, reduce tarnish from anything that might occur. Excellent. Okay. And that's going to give you a nice solid connection anytime you pop something in right. those slots. So um, where, where, where else would you like to go from there? Because I know we have, uh, we have plenty on this motherboard, and I just don't want to take the thunder away from you. <laughs> well, definitely <laughs> with this motherboard, uh, it's a Z97. So we're going to cover that in a bit. But to keep you guys, give you guys an idea, with all, all the water cooling solutions out there nowadays, you want to be able to power both the pump as well as the radiator fan. And our boards are able to let you do that. We actually carry a CPU fan header as well as a CPU optional fan header. Now, these are all PWM controlled fans. They're four pins. So you can find them all around the board. So I see one, two, three, four, five. And I believe there's another one somewhere else. But for the time being, I guess there's just five on this motherboard. <laughs> there are five PWM fan headers. This you can control through the BIOS as well as through our system information viewer, which is in the Gigabyte application that is provided to you on that CD. So, or you can download it directly from the website. Right. So our App Center consolidates everything. It makes it less of a hassle for you. So even drivers that you're running in your system, all you have to do is update from our App Center, and it'll actually update it for you. Perfect. So, all right, well, I kind of want to talk about Z97 just because it's, it's glaring right in my face. Right. Um, so we obviously get uh, SATA Express connectivity as well as M.2, and it's basically one or the other in this particular case. Right, right? so we're looking at, we do, have, we do carry SATA Express as well as M.2, and with M.2 we carry the different form factor sizes, which is in length, I mean. So you're looking at 42, 60, and 80 right there in the front, and we're looking at a 22 millimeter width. Excellent. And with that, um, again, Z97, so all of these features, it's next generation storage options, and you're running at 10 gigabits per second. Um, I, I noticed we have uh, three different uh, uh, PCI Express slots here that are, that are full length, and so that tells me you probably have at least two-way SLI and, right. and Crossfire. Multi-graphics support. And another thing is, uh, again, with graphics, uh, we have a lot of gamers out there, so we focus heavily on graphics as well as gaming audio as well as networking. So you can actually see that we brought this feature down from some of our higher, higher end boards from our previous generation. We have a noise guard right here. And this has path lighting. And Steve's going to show you guys really quick on the back. From That's all I'm good for, just lighting. That's so you can actually for. see where that light's coming out. And you can see how it glows. And that actually shows you the cut through this PCB that separates that left from the right side of the board. All right there for you guys. All right, and basically, like I said, it separates the left from the right. So this whole right side being the digital side, it allows for your CPU componentry. The left being your analog side, which is great for your audio. Keeping out that interference to make sure it's as clean as humanly possible. Right. Perfect. All right, and let's move back to the rear I.O. so everyone knows what kind of connections these boards can make. So from the bottom, we have our regular audio connectors. We have a NIC. We have four USB 3.0s, one USB 3.0 header on the board. We have four USB 2.0s here, as well as two USB headers in, on the board as well. We have HDMI, DVI, as well as VGA, and also some PS2 ports. Excellent. All right, and just to, for those of you guys out there who are wondering why are you guys still incorporating PS2, it's because it's an added feature for those of you that want to use it. So PS2, it's a legacy device, so if you're using older operating systems and you do want to connect 
uh, maybe a PS2 mouse, PS2 keyboard. You don't have to worry about any driver updates or any driver issues that might come into play. Yeah, so basically if you, if you have an older operating system and you're slightly worried about that, this is a board that would solve a problem for you if you needed that. Or maybe you have this board already set up with uh, Windows and you wanted to mess with maybe a really old operating system. Um, that would probably be helpful, as opposed to not having that option. <laughs> so, excellent. Thank you very much, Leon. Is there anything else you wanted to say about this board? Well, definitely. So, we included, uh, in this video, we're talking about the UD3H, but just so all of you guys know out there, we also do carry a similar model, which is our GAZ97X UD3H-BK. Now, that's our Black Edition version of this motherboard, and it is being sold at Newegg, so definitely check that out if you're interested. Thank you very much, Leon. I really appreciate that. And thank you guys also for watching today's video, don't forget to subscribe at youtube.com forward slash newegg for more videos just like this one. And until then, we will see you guys very soon.